Happy today, President Biden is going to give his first official State of the Union address. NBC's Bree Jackson now in Washington, D.C. for us this morning. And Bree, there is no shortage of issues the president is expected to talk about, from Russia's invasion of Ukraine to COVID-19 and infrastructure. What exactly can we expect tonight? Good morning, Ben. White House officials tell me President Biden plans to emphasize the united response to Russian aggression while also focusing on successes here at home and providing an optimistic look ahead. Against the backdrop of Russia's violent siege on Ukraine, President Biden is expected to tackle the threat of Vladimir Putin head on during his first State of the Union address. This is a crisis that we're dealing with right now uh, as, as a global community. Uh, and so that certainly will be, uh, will be part of his speech. What is the administration's coherent plan? White House officials tell me the president will highlight the unified response to Russia's invasion while also laying out successes here at home, touting historic investments in infrastructure, more than six million jobs added to the economy, and the progress made in America's fight against COVID. All those shots in arms, uh, all the therapeutics, all the testing, uh, that didn't just happen. That's a record of results. Tonight's speech will look far different than last year. This time, face masks are optional as COVID restrictions ease nationwide. Republicans challenge President Biden's agenda success. He told us he would make America safer. He really hasn't bothered. And he's told us he would rebuild our economy in record time, yet we have inflation beating 40-year-old records. Inflation relief, another topic the administration will highlight tonight, which includes calling on Congress to pass key pieces of Biden's Build Back Better legislation and speaking directly to Americans about overcoming obstacles. What does it mean when gas prices go up? Um, and so this is this is something that he can speak to in an authentic way. The president will make his case to the nation. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds will deliver the official Republican response to President Biden's State of the Union address. In Washington, I'm Bree Jackson for Wake Up Charlotte.